everyone, my name is Denise Kelly from I'm a Little Vegan and I am delighted to be collaborating with the wonderful cafes. If you've followed my page for any length of time, you will know that I am a lover of all things cafes. Their vegan offerings are just spectacular and I frequent their cafe every other week. But they also do coffee and a lot of people don't realise that. So I'm going to show you how to create one of the wonderful cafes coffees in your home because you know we're home a lot more these days um, I'm going to just get this on the stove really quickly and then I'll chat a little bit more about where you can purchase coffee outside of the cafe and where and, and what it's made up of so let me get this right now before we do anything else I have 250 ml of water that is just slightly off the boil and I'm just going to pop it into the most decadent coffee pot also available in cafes and online so we're just going to pop that in there. So 250 mils, this little pot, requires two heaped teaspoons. So we're just going to heap it and go for, we'll call that heap. So we're just going to pop these in here. Give that a little stir. And you want to just pop it into your stove. I've got heating already. Now what you're aiming for is just a nice, I call it a frothy simmer. You'll know when it's ready as it starts to rise, so I can keep talking and stirring at the same time. Um, I just love the ceremony of anything connected with tea and coffee anyway, so I think more than ever, maybe we've slowed down a little bit the last few months. Um, we're at home a little bit more and we are a really big coffee, a coffee house. Well, Dave and myself is only the two of us. And um, he's a really coffee aficionado, so I actually purchased this a few months ago for Dave for the first time, and we really started getting into it then. And what really struck me was, I would know a bit about coffee, but I, I, there was something so aromatic, and I was like, what is this addition? And it was the cardamom. So for every kilogram, they, so they roast all their coffee um, in-house in cafes, so for every kilogram of coffee they roast, they also roast 40 grams of cardamom and cardamom is just so aromatic it just gives such a lift to dishes in general and when you add it to coffee it, it almost just takes down the acidity slightly of coffee and it is just it's beautiful it's like its own little dessert um so it's a 50 50 blend of i must keep stirring and not get distracted it's a 50 50 blend of um, light and dark um, arabica beans but if you were uh, looking for a darker roast, if you were looking for perhaps 80% dark to 20% light, then that's absolutely no problem as well, they can accommodate you. Um, you just have to uh, let them know. And so, yeah, it's, it, it's just a beautiful coffee. Now, a lot of people would kind of go down the sugar route. I'm, I'm not, I don't have the sweetest tooth. I love always, when it comes to coffee anyway, having something like a little date or a tiny little pastry. So they give you these beautiful dates um, stuffed with, these have been the jewel dates stuffed with uh, pecans and to be honest that's probably enough um, to complement it but if you are looking for the sugar kick then absolutely add sugar to this. So you need to just, as I said, just keep stirring. The coffee will let you know when it's ready. Um, but I just, as I said, I just love the ceremony of it. It's, um, it's the most gorgeous pot. So the main thing that I want to let you know is not only can you buy these in the coffee shop or in the cafe, obviously, you can go online also to is www.isizz.ie and they're now delivering nationwide. So I think if you're ever to, I'm always getting uh, my husband coffee gifts, anything coffee related. And I think it's just such a beautiful gift um, to consider for someone. I think because we're a little bit more apart these months as well, um, why not give, receive or treat yourself? I think it's just fabulous. So I think we're almost now coming up to a little, um, little frothy simmer, as we say. But um, with the offerings in, in is in general, if you haven't eaten there, um, pre or post lockdown, um, you really need to uh, to make a trip to Cork. And um, they're based in um, George's Key, family run. If ever there's a time to support local, it's now, and I think we're all so much more mindful of this. But honestly, the food is just, I think food made with love, 
whether it's coffee, their flatbreads, um, it, um, it just tastes differently. I really do, I really do believe that. So um, we're almost there. I'm being patient. Patience is a virtue and all that. And look at this gorgeous little espresso cup that I've been gifted. And my team, team is now. Um, so we're just gonna give it maybe 10 more seconds. Uh, Dave prefers this uh, with a little bit more froth on top. I like mine with less, but I'm drinking it. So I'm not giving him any. Now, I think we are just, yeah, just there. Now you have to excuse my uh, awkward leftiness. If this was actually, I suppose I could go this way because you have the little the lip on the. I always think it's funny pouring it. <gasps> sweet, sweet coffee. If you could just smell this now, it really is just so delicious. So as I said, I'm going to have mine with these beautiful dates, but you can have it as is, or you can as is. <laughs> the perfect pun <laughs> for a video, not intended. And it really is just so delicious. I'm just gonna have to dig into one of these now. I've been I've been keeping them for the video, but you know, mm. so beautiful. So one more sip. So cafe is or is ie www.izz.ie for all your coffee needs and they're also selling these beautiful gorgeous coffee pots um yeah i'm just going to sit back now and enjoy this for the evening take care